this flow map tool you can add the live to the still texture that can be image image sequence or a procedural texture you can define the flow direction with this curve and this tool is completely procedural and easy to use uh, you can get this tool from blender market or from my gumroad page the link is in the video description however if you are not comfortable to buy this tool uh, you can watch my free tutorials how to create flow map uh, with the geometry nodes as well as uh, with the animation nodes so when you download this you will get this blend file and it has this uh, flow map modifier so you can use uh, this as assets or you can append this into your project file so to use this as assets first you have to copy this blend file into your asset folder and let me open a new file so let's add a image plane uh, we have this image plane so let's add a subdivision to this uh, keep in mind that the more the number of subdivision will produce a smooth uh, flow map we have this and now let's go to this asset browser go to this unassigned category you will have this flow map just drag this onto this object and let's go to this shader node uh, by default it will bring this uh, waterfall of texture we have to change this go to this flow map material and then go to this group note this texture and here you can change the image texture and let's also see this flow map modifier you play this it is working now you can change this curve something like this or you can append the flow map modifier into your project file so let's add uh, image plane we have this image plane so let's add a subdivision to this and then we can append that flow map modifier go to this node and then select this flow map modifier panel then add this geometry nodes and select this flow map again we have to go to this shader nodes then select the flow map material and change the image to uh, our this galaxy image see it's working now uh, this is how you can use this into your project file now i'll explain the settings of this flow map the settings are very simple the first thing uh, your object should have a decent number of subdivisions to create a smooth flow map and the first setting is you have to define the dimension axis of our the input object whether it is lies in xy plane like in this case on this plane or it is uh, lies in the xyz axis or you have a three dimensional object in that case you have to select this xyz axis option if you are using a plane which is lies in the xy plane axis then you can use the default option after that you have to specify the uv map of this input object and then you have the direction curve settings the first thing you have to select the curve in this case this is the bezier curve and then you can specify the length to sample the direction uh, from this curve and then you have this option to switch the tangent direction and the normal direction that is used for the flow map you can change the tangent direction and with this factor you can mix the tangent and normal direction one is completely normal and zero is completely a uh, tangent direction see it is moving perpendicular to this curve so here you can change the normal direction uh, and you can also mix these directions okay uh, because our input mesh has a finite number of vertices as well as this curve so to smooth the sampling for the direction you can use this option after this you have flow map settings the first is the speed
you can make a uh, really fast uh, then you have this face factor to offset the texture uh, for this flow map change the direction as well as you can define the face after this you have this use curve for mask so let me show you first basically it is creating a mask so that we can control the influence or uh, based on this flow map like you can increase the width of this mask and you have this mask width option to create a nice blend between static and animated texture and the last setting is the flow depth it will allow you to define the depth uh, based on this mask so this is really handy to use this flow map for the reverse case or in this case for the waterfall off you can also use the vertex color to control the influence of this flow map instead of this uh, mask let me disable this all the texture is moving now let's make this one so now we are using the vertex color in the combination of this mask if we go to this vertex paint so this is the mask and the white region will be the animated texture and black will be the static texture so with this uh, you can basically paint the black to make the texture static so now we are only using this vertex color however you can use this mask as well to further control this uh, flow map so this is the uh, flow map material this is the mask part and this is the main part of this flow map setup so in this uh, texture group node you're going to define the texture that can be a procedural texture or a image based texture it will automatically add that texture here and let me show you this so this is the flow map or this texture i'm using this mask to further control the region which is around this curve so this is basically the settings and the material of this flow map however if you have any query or doubt you can ask me in the comment section or, or you can ask me on my uh, discord server uh, this is it if you like this work then please do support me so until next time happy noting bye